What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is an exciting update we have received for one of the good luck modules called One Hand Operation Plus. Now we all know about this module, this is a very powerful application for Samsung Galaxy phones which enables us to use the phone in one hand by setting up different functionalities for these five gestures. Now this powerful app has got a brand new update as you can see here the version number is 7.1.23.0 and in the change log, it talks about a couple of important things here. You can see the first one is One UI 6.1.1 support. So this confirms the availability of One UI 6.1.1 for the Galaxy phones. At least for some of the latest Galaxy phones, we should be getting the One UI 6.1.1. We saw similar point mentioned in the theme park change log as well. The recent update for theme park mentioned this particular One UI 6.1.1 support. So it looks like Samsung is gearing up for 6.1.1 probably in the next few weeks. As for the rumors, uh, this update is supposed to come in the month of August, but uh, I think it may land in the month of July itself because the beta version of One UI 7 may also hit somewhere around uh, August or September. So I'm not too sure about when this update will arrive, but we can expect this to come to the Galaxy phone soon. Now let's talk about the important change or the important feature that has been added for the One Hand Operation Plus application. That is the minimize pop-up window feature. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how exactly this feature works. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in this wallpaper, you can check out the link for this in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can go ahead and download them if you're interested. Now let's go back to the change lock here. You can see it also talks about bug fixes and stability improvements. Now uh, before I go ahead and show you this uh, minimize pop-up window feature, if you're new to Samsung Galaxy phones, let me quickly show you how this One Hand Operation Plus application works. Let me just open this application. You can see we have got left hand and right handle. Let me tap on right handle here. You see for the right handle we get different swipe options short swipe and long swipe. Now for short swipe for straight left of course I need the back key so I have set the back key here and then for diagonal up I have selected smart select. Let me tap on diagonal up here. You see we have got a list of all the functions from the system which can be assigned to this particular swipe. This, this is the swipe action. You can see there are various swipe actions which we can set. You can probably go through all this and we also have some setting options for some of these swipe actions. Now here I have selected the smart select feature for swipe action. When I swipe up, let's say now I will just show you that, I will swipe up on the screen you see the smart select gets activated. So if you're holding the phone in one hand, you can easily swipe from this edge of the screen to take a screenshot or this uh, screen capture, which is fantastic. And likewise, we will be able to set various different functions. Let's say for uh, diagonal down, I have selected screenshot. Now what happens is when I swipe diagonally down from the right edge of the screen, you see it takes the entire screenshot. Now let's say instead of the screenshot, I want to set something else. Let me select a useful feature here. Let's say rotate right. I will select the screen rotation to right. Now what happens is when I swipe down diagonally, then you see the screen rotates to the right. I can uh, diagonally swipe down again to get that uh, orientation back. Now this option is very useful because we don't really have to select the auto rotate on. Sometimes auto rotation is annoying and manually going and enabling the auto rotate is also kind of annoying for some of us. So just set up the rotate right option for diagonal down or any swipe gesture that you want. You can easily rotate the screen by swiping uh, from the edge of the screen, which is just fantastic. Now this is how this works. We have got the actions for swipe, uh, short swipe, and we also have options, similar options for the long swipe as well. You see the same diagonal down option, what I'll do is I will select quick tools. Now what happens is when I do a short swipe, the screen rotates and when I do a long swipe and hold, you see the quick tools will open up. Now for the same gesture, we have got short swipe or a long swipe. We can set any functions that we want. Quite useful, isn't it? This is how it works for the right handle. We also have it for the left handle. Then we have got these advanced settings for customizing these options and further customization options we have at the bottom. Now this is a very powerful application on Samsung Galaxy phones, the One Hand Operation Plus. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the all new feature which has been added now on OHO Plus application. You see it says, add minimize pop-up window feature. So which means now we can add minimize pop-up window feature for any of these uh, gesture handles on this application. Let me show you that. Let me just first open the application. Now let me tap on a uh, right handle here and I will tap on diagonal down. Now here you see on this list, we have got this all new option. 
you see here it is minimize pop-up window now let me just explain this to you uh, you see we have got quick pop-up view already available on the one hand operation plus option which means when we use the swipe gesture we will be able to open an application in a quick pop-up view which is cool now let me just select quick pop-up view first now you see when i swipe down this application goes into a pop-up window now with this feature selected let's say i do the same swipe gesture again this app gets back to its original position it gets out of the pop-up window and this has been the case when you select quick pop-up view for uh, any of the gestures now what has changed is with this all new feature minimum pop-up window let's say if you have opened this application in a pop-up view you can swipe down again to minimize this pop-up window you see it gets minimized to the app icon now it doesn't move out of the pop-up window that is the all new option that we have got let me demonstrate this again with some other application now let's say you are inside the gallery app and you have opened a particular image now I will just swipe down to shrink this into pop-up window. Now you see this is in pop-up window. Now when I swipe down again, it minimizes into the app icon. This is the all new feature. Now let me do a quick demo again. Let's say I'm going through some images on the gallery and let's say I want to quickly copy this image to the Samsung Notes application. What I'll do is I will just swipe down to open this in a pop-up view and then open the Notes application, create a new note, press and hold on this image and just drag it onto the note here. You see, it gets copied. Now I can swipe down again to minimize this window. This icon will remain here and I can start editing it and mention whatever I want to mention on the notes application. And then if I want to expand this window, I can expand it by tapping on that. And again, if I want to edit something on the notes, I can swipe down to minimize this uh, pop-up window. That is the all new feature we have got. Now, let me just swipe towards the left and open a news article here. Now let's say this is the news article I have. Now let's say if I want to minimize Samsung internet application that wouldn't be possible while another app is open in this window because this is happening through the one hand operation plus application with the selection of minimize pop-up window. Let me do this, let's try this. You see, when I swipe down to open this app in pop-up window, the app which is already open is opening up. So I can't really uh, open this particular app, the internet into pop-up window. Let's try this. Let me go to the recent app. I'll tap on this and tap on open in pop-up view. You see, now I'm able to open this in pop-up view. Now let's swipe down and see what happens. You see, both the applications are now are minimized into the app icons. Now let's say I'm in Samsung Notes and I want to open any of these applications. Let's say I want to open internet and copy this image uh, and paste it here onto the node. I can do that. You see, I can swipe down again to uh, shrink this into the minimum uh, app icon and I can start editing here, which is just fantastic. Now, let me also show you another demo here. Let me open files application and open any of the files here. Let me open this particular calculation here. Okay, let me open this. Now we've got some numbers here on this. Now what I'll do is I'll just swipe down to open this in a pop-up view. And now I will open my files again and open a particular Excel file here or a drive file. Let me just open this one here. Now I'll swipe down to minimize this and let me quickly turn on the light mode here. Now here I can do the multitasking. I can work on this page while this pop-up window is open. You see, I can uh, read all these numbers and add those numbers here. And while you're doing that, you can quickly shrink this into a minimum view. You see, it gets into the minimum pop-up view form and I can start editing here. I can tap on this, see the content here and again swipe down and move it into a minimum pop-up view and start working on this. That is how this whole feature works on One Hand Operation Plus application. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let me know what do you think about this feature. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.